In today's video, we're introducing a robust reversal trading strategy suitable for both beginners and experienced traders. By combining price action with two other trading view indicators, we will walk you through how to spot trends, reversal points, and execute high probability trades with confidence. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest trading strategies and market analysis. Let's get started. All right, let's first add the indicator to the chart. To add indicators, simply click on the indicator menu at the top. Then in the search menu, type in the name of our first indicator, which is the linear regression oscillator. And it's this one, linear regression oscillator created by Chart Prime. Click on it to add it to the chart. This linear regression oscillator helps you see when prices might go back to average and when trends might change. By calculating a linear regression on the closing prices over a user-defined period, it helps identify overbought and oversold levels and highlights trend changes. This indicator is made up of only a few components. Here this cool wave on the indicator that changes color between teal and blue. It's like a visual guide showing us which way the market is heading and how strong the trend is. When the wave crosses above the center line or turns teal, it means the market is on a bullish trend. But if it crosses below the center line or turns blue, it's a bearish trend. At the top of the indicator, there's the overbought level in teal, and at the bottom, there's the oversold level in blue. When the oscillator reaches the upper level, it could mean the market is overbought. Conversely, when it goes below the bottom level, it suggests the market may be oversold. As you can see, this indicator overlays some of its components on the main chart window, which can make things look messy. Since we won't be using these components in our strategy, I'm going to hide them. All right, let's go to the indicator settings. In the style section, uncheck the plot color candles, bar color, and labels. Now let's move on to the second indicator for our strategy. Go to the indicator section and type RSI in the search box. Add it to the chart. Now let's go to the indicator settings. In the style section, uncheck this moving average line option. Also, I will change the color of the RSI to white so that it is clearly visible. Once you're done, click on OK to save the changes. RSI, the Relative Strength Index, is a powerful momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements in the market. By using RSI, traders can easily identify potential trend reversals and overbought or oversold conditions. When the RSI goes above 70, it means the currency might be overbought, and there is a possibility that a price reversal or correction may occur soon. On the flip side, when the RSI drops below 30, it could mean the currency is oversold and there is a possibility of a price reversal or bounce back. Traditional traders use RSI to make decisions, but the tricky part is that the prices can stay overbought or oversold for quite some time. There's no set limit to how high or low prices can go, so if you only trade based on these conditions, you might end up with a lot of losing trades. So how do we actually use the RSI indicator? One effective way is by spotting divergence between the price and the indicator, which can indicate potential trend reversals. But what exactly is divergence? Divergence happens when the price moves in the opposite direction of an indicator like the RSI, suggesting a possible reversal in the current trend. For example, here on the chart, the price breaks the previous structure to the upside, creating a new high. However, if we check the RSI, we'll see that it's making a lower high, creating divergence. This divergence often leads to a change in trend direction. This concept isn't just for bullish scenarios, it works the other way around too. For instance, if the price makes a lower low, but the RSI shows a higher low, that's divergence, and it may signal a shift in market structure from downward to upward. The RSI divergence works best when it enters the overbought or oversold territory. This indicates that the price has experienced a significant and rapid increase, potentially signaling a potential reversal or correction. Additionally, the divergence can suggest a potential shift in market structure. Now that we've covered the foundation of our strategy, let's move on to the entry and exit rules. Let's begin with the rules for entering long positions. First, spot the bullish divergence. As you can see, here the price makes a lower low, but you notice that the RSI makes a higher low. This is a sign of bullish divergence, indicating that momentum might shift to the upside. Draw a trend line connecting the recent swing highs to visualize the downtrend. Next, wait patiently until the price breaks above the trend line and closes above it, signaling that the downtrend might be ending. And finally, the linear regression oscillator wave should be above the center line or turn teal. So all the rules are met on this candle. We will open a long order at the opening of the next candle. Set your stop loss just below the most recent swing low. 
And as for your target, aim for the most recent resistance level. Once we hit that target, it's always a good idea to trail your stop loss to maximize those profits. Now let's understand the conditions for entering a short trade. Entering a short position is the exact opposite of entering a long position. First, spot the bearish divergence. As you can see here, the price makes a higher high, but you notice that the RSI makes a lower high. This is a sign of bearish divergence, indicating that momentum might shift to the downside. Draw a trend line connecting the recent swing lows to visualize the uptrend. Next, wait patiently until the price breaks below the trend line and closes below it, signaling that the uptrend might be ending. And finally, the linear regression wave should be below the center line or turn blue. So all the rules are met on this candle. We will open a short order at the opening of the next candle. Set your stop loss just above the most recent swing high. And as for your target, aim for the most recent support level. Once we hit that target, it's always a good idea to trail your stop loss to maximize those profits. Let's look at some examples to help you understand. Here, a bearish divergence was formed. As you can see, the RSI makes a lower high. But if you look at the price, it makes a higher high. It's a sign of bearish divergence. Now draw a trend line connecting the recent swing lows and wait for the price to break the trend line and close below it. And here, the price breaks our trend line and closes below it. Additionally, the linear regression wave is blue, confirming the bearish trend. So all the rules are met on this candle. We will open a short order at the opening of the next candle. I set the stop loss just above the recent swing high. And as for your target, aim for the most recent support level. Once we hit that target, it's always a good idea to trail your stop loss to maximize those profits. Here the RSI makes a higher low. But if you look at the price, it makes a lower low. It's a sign of bullish divergence. Now draw a trend line connecting the recent swing highs and wait for the price to break the trend line and close above it. And here, the price breaks our trend line and closes above it. But here the linear regression wave is still blue, so we will wait for it to turn teal. And there it is, the wave turns teal, confirming the bullish trend. So all the rules are met on this candle. We will open a long order at the opening of the next candle. To manage risk, I set the stop loss just below the recent swing low. And as for your target, aim for the most recent resistance level. Let's look at some more examples. Again, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. This is purely for informational purposes. Please remember that the strategy shown in this video is to demonstrate the indicators and how to use them, not extensively backtested. So thank you all for joining us today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from you. Don't forget to click that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Wishing you all lucrative trades and see you in the next video.